Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. All right, how's this? Woof, woof, woof. Oh, that's better. At least you're getting closer. Boy, if Alan ever comes up with a dog for a guest star again, I'm going to bite him. Arr! All right, all right. Down, boy. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Shall I throw you a bone? <laughs> Why, you want to get rid of your head? <laughs> Don't tell me Alan wants a script. Of course, and so does Pally's trainer. You mean the dog has script approval? No, they ran out of newspaper. <laughs> Where's Rob? He's outside pacing. Outside? Mel, he just had to get out. Now, it's, it's very tough writing jokes for a dog, especially one who's a dramatic actor. Hey, fellas. Oh, hi, hi Rob. Did you come up with any ideas? Yeah. Yeah, all right. What, what, what? Well, look, Mel, I have talked this over with Buddy and Sally, so it's going to be in kind of rough form. Oh, I'd rather not show anything to Alan that's unfinished. Why? He sees you all the time. Okay. <laughs> Rob, what's the idea? Well... Look, we all know that Pally's one of the most beautiful and smartest dogs in the whole world. Huh? Yeah. Now, what if... Now, this has been done before, but what if we go on the premise that we all agree Pally is smart and beautiful and everything, but she wasn't always that smart or that beautiful? Well, what is it, an idea or an apology? No! <laughs> I say we do our own version of Pygmalion. Pygmalion? Do you think it'd work with a dog? Why not? It was great with pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fabulous idea, Rob. Really. What's so fabulous about it? It's a classic. They based My Fair Lady on it, stupid. Well, what do you think? I agree with you and Sally. The idea is good and Buddy's stupid. <laughs> but I, uh, I think we're going to have trouble with Pally Strand. I don't think they'll allow us to ugly him up. Oh, I know he won't. Yeah, but Rob, listen, to make it work, you got to find the ugliest, stupidest dog in the world. <laughs> That's right. Right? Hey, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. What's he got out there? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's stupid. <laughs> whatever it is, it's ugly. <laughs> you gonna bring that thing in here? Sure I am. Come on, boy. Yeah, boy. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's the most absurd-looking animal I've ever seen. What? Well, what is that? 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 What? Try mutt. What? Yeah, I got him with the dog pound. Isn't he ghastly? He's a stray. Stray nothing. He missed completely. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. I'll never sleep on that couch again. I see. We owe him something already. Rob, that is ugly. Yeah. That's why I caught him. He's perfect for the sketch. Well, I think I better check with Pally's trainer. I don't think they'll let that creature near her. They let you near her, and this is a step up. <laughs> that ugly. Oh, you take him and clean him up a little bit, you'd have a clean, ugly dog. <laughs> Boy, that dog is so homely. Are you going to make a joke right there? That was my sincere desire. Well, wait till she gets paper in the machine, because that's our sketch. You know, Rob, I still kind of feel sorry for him. You see that fella? Even though you're funny looking, you're among friends. Look at that, he licked me. You better wash it off before the skin corrodes. <laughs> Down, Alan wins his bet. Polly has won the award for the most beautiful dog in the world. Ah, we got a great sketch. Right. Still need a closing line, though. I got it. I got it. You can't tell a book by its cover. You can't tell a dog by its coat. But you can tell your sister anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. That doesn't make any sense. Well, before they realize that, we'll be off the air. <laughs> hey, he likes it, you see? Done. 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 There we are. Oh, Alan's gonna love it. And old horrible here was a great inspiration. Hey, maybe we should keep an ugly dog around here all the time. We don't need him. We got Mel. <laughs> oh, Gesundheit. Hey, Rob, I'm going home. Right? All finished. Yeah, me too. Good night, Rob. Good night, buddy. Good night, horrible. Good night, Sal. Wait a minute, Sal. I'll go with you. Good night, Rob. Good night, horrible. Good night. Good night, Horrible. Good night, Horrible. Hey, Rob, I just thought... Yeah, I just thought, too. Hey, fellas, I just thought... 
How can you work with a dog all day long and then leave and forget he's here? I don't know, but three out of three people do it. <laughs> I kind of assumed that maybe Mel would make some arrangements or yeah, something. Yeah, well, he didn't. Well, we can't just go leave the poor guy here all alone. Well, Rob, we can't stay here all night and sit with him. Well, that takes care of the camps. Now, let's look at the... Hey! At the camps. Bless you. Hey, why don't you just send him back to the pound? Well, we can't. It's closed, for one thing. Besides, we need him for rehearsal first thing in the morning. Well, get him a nice dish of water. Oh, a dish of water's not very much company. So put a fish in it. <laughs> Look, you guys, I'd take him home if I could, but I can't. You know, dogs do that to me, some of them. I thought I was catching a cold, but it's him. I'm, a... I'm allergic to it. That's who. I can't do it. I can't even sleep in the same house with him. Well, how about a kennel? Rob can't sleep in a kennel. Oh. <laughs> well, we can't go call him kennels this time of night anyway. Well, why don't we chip in and send him to a hotel? Ah, they won't take him. He's got no luggage. <laughs> All right. I'm in. Sorry, Rob. Oh, good, night. good night. So what am I going to say to Laura? Honey, guess what I'm bringing home tonight? No, oh, that's no good. Why not? You don't know what you're bringing home. <laughs> I had to put something in the garage. Well, then why don't you come into the garage? Gee, you're making an awful mess. Well, the garage floor is covered with grease and junk and everything, so I had to put the thing out on the patio. What thing? Hey, yeah, I tried to call you, Eddie. You catching a cold? No, no. Oh, I was over at Millie's. I wanted to call you and tell you I was bringing her dog home. A puppy? <laughs> Party. Well, what kind of a dog? That hasn't been established yet. <laughs> Honey, this isn't for Rich. We'll use it on the show. Oh, well, why are you leaving it outside? Well, <laughs> that's why. What is that? That is horrible. I know. Why are you leaving it outside? <laughs> oh, well, honey, I didn't want to. Wait a minute, horrible. I didn't want to if somebody had to bring him. Buddy and Sally had airtight alibis. Oh, yeah, better than usual. Well, I can't say I blame them. Hey, over here, horrible. Yeah, he usually doesn't look this ugly. We got a little wet coming in from the car. Oh. You know, there's something about rain on hair or fur. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got an old beach towel here. You'll never be able to use it again. Well, we got to get them dry, poor baby. No, oh, honey, you're a good woman. There you go, boy. Hey. That's right. oh, nice look. Yeah. Honey, you're going to have to let Bobby do it, will you? Come here. Oh. Good boy. Here. He's nice, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> Rob, has he been eating onions? Oh, yeah, he grabbed uh, Buddy's hamburger. Come on. You know, he can sleep over in the corner, I guess, for the night. We'll never use the corner again. <laughs> Oh, Rob, we're going to have a problem with Rich. He's going to take one look at him and fall in love. That ugly dog? Darling, when you were a boy, did you ever bring home a pretty dog? Never. That's right. Pretty dogs don't need little boys. Oh. And this guy is homely enough for a boy scout troop. <laughs> well, if Richie does want to keep him, you're the one who's going to have to say no. Well, I'm not backing down. Hey, Mom, what can we eat? You just have to understand, that's all, honey. Mom! Uh, what? Now, Rich, Rich, um... your father is allergic to that dog. He's here for the one night, and we cannot keep him. Good. He's funny looking. And he stinks. Yeah! <laughs> this corn beast for you. Sorry, they forgot... They forgot to put the Russian dressing on it. <laughs> his corn beef? I thought the burger was his, and the corn beef was yours. He had a burger yesterday. This one's mine. Buddy, dogs don't eat corned beef sandwiches. What makes you say that? Did you ever see a collie with a heartburn? <laughs> he happens to love delicatessen. He almost ate the delivery boy. Here you are, fella. Right here. There you go. Look at that. He likes it. Sure he likes it. <laughs> here you go, boy. What are you doing there? Well, give him some milk. Milk with corned beef? That ain't kosher. <laughs> Cream soda or nothing. <laughs> Rob, he's trying to 
trying to kill that dog. No, he's trying to convert him. <laughs> Rob. Hey, I hate to interrupt you in the middle of lunch, pal, but kill. <laughs> Bad news. The Pygmalion sketch is out. Why? Ellen loved it. No, uh, Pally's no longer on the show. Don't tell me he didn't like the sketch. No, he didn't like Alan. He bit him. Is this serious, Milk? No, 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 just, just a little nip. But Alan won't work with any actor who bites him. Okay, girl, how do we replace a dog? The problem's already been solved. He rented some children to sing to. You're kidding. No, no, no. No, he's going to put them around in a circle and sing camp songs to them. That's warm. Mm. Well, if that doesn't work, you can always bake an apple pie or dance with his mother. So I guess you better take your dog back to the pound. No, why don't we keep him and send you to the pound? <laughs> They'll never know the difference. Oh, sure they will. The dog's got more hair. <laughs> Sally! But, Mel, I just thought it would hurt less coming from me. <laughs> well, it didn't. Gee, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take him back to the pound. I hadn't even thought about that. Gee, Rob, you really like that mutt, don't you? Yeah. Bless you. Me too. I think this is the nicest dog I ever saw. Maybe we can wait till after lunch to take him back to the pound. That was a short romance. Well, I guess Mel's right, but it's sad to take him back. Well, he's putting it all together. Come on, horrible. Let's go to the pound. Come on, horrible. Oh, good morning. What can I do for you? Well, you guys called me this morning at the place about my pooch. Oh, yes. Um, what was the name? Bart Mack. Where did you find it? Central Park, last night. Oh, lucky she wasn't mugged. I'll get her. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, thank you. Phew. You got a heart of gold, right? For me? Well, the average guy finds that dog. He runs in the opposite direction. Oh, yeah, well, he's not exactly Rin Tin Tin. He's got a kind of a personality, though. I can smell it. <laughs> well, I sure hope they find a good home for him. Yeah, it's a shame to have to croak any dog. Oh, it's a shame to me. What do you mean? What do you mean croak? Well, I mean put him to sleep. Bye bye, Bow Wow. <laughs> well, why? I, who? Well, they do. I mean, they keep them for a couple of weeks and nobody claims them. They got it. I mean, they don't want it. But they get thousands of dogs. And him, he's asking for it. <laughs> you mean they're just, they're just... There she is. Oh, 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 Rhonda, baby, you're all right. She's fine. She just had a big meal. Oh, thanks. Oh, Rhonda, you're beautiful. Daddy's very angry at you. And if you ever run away again, Daddy's going to spank you. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Well, good luck, pal. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Petrie, how is the show? Look, what are you going to do to her? I don't understand. Well, that guy said if nobody claims him, you just... Oh, well, unfortunately, that's the rule. Of course, if I had my way, I I'd take them all home with me. Well, I have my way, and nobody's going to put my dog away. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Better come too. You're my dog. Hi, Rob. Hi, Hi. horrible. No luck, huh? No. Boy, mom. Boy, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Who reminds you of that kid in the bad seed? Harry didn't want him? No, Harry didn't want him. The gas station didn't want him. Ain't even buddy at Sally. No. Rob, how much would it cost to board him? For the rest of his life? Well, no, just till somebody wants him. That is the rest of his life. <laughs> Poor old horrible. Gee, he sure grows on you, doesn't he? I don't suppose there's any possibility that we could keep him, is there? What? Guess not. There's only one thing to do. Bob, you can't take him back to the pound. I'm not taking him back to any pound. I am setting him free. Well, then just catch him again. If David Jansen could do it, he can do it. <laughs> okay, boy. Go on, horrible. Run for it, boy. Run for it. Go on. Horrible. 
trouble? Why do you look so horrible? <laughs> Why do I have to get such brilliant ideas that always get us in trouble? The darn sketch never even got on the air. The sketch? Pygmalion! Rotten idea. No, it wasn't, Rob. Let's do it with him. Huh? We'll get him all prettied up so somebody would want him. Yeah, and if he got ugly again, by that time, they got to love him, huh? Yeah. Oh, that would work. Oh, Rob, it's worth a try. At try. least this way you'd have a chance. Maybe that's a brainstorm. That is a great idea. What am I looking up? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Docs, documents, doctors, dogs, the bow Wowery, the Poodle Palace, the Puppy Palace, the Silver... Hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Doggy. You know of any of those? I think Grace takes her dog to the puppy palace. All right, puppy palace it is. Horrible? We're going to make you handsome. Oh, Rob, I think the puppy palace only takes poodles. Well, who knows, honey? He may be one. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> bye, bye, buttons. Hello there, I'm uh, Rob Petrie. I called a little bit earlier. Oh, yes. Oh, my. <laughs> you were right. This is an emergency. <laughs> well, well, why don't you come in here where it's more comfortable? Oh, thank you. Yes, we uh, have some collars and some accessories right over there. Uh, Rex will be right with you. Rex? Uh, my husband. He might be able to help you with your problem. I thought it was a dog. It may be. Gee, will you look at these collars? Better looking than my jewelry. This is some place. Got a feeling it's going to cost us a fortune, too. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I'm a Rob Petrie. This is my wife, Laura. Rexford Spaulding. <laughs> this is our dog, Herbo. Our dog. Well, he doesn't have a name. <laughs> he doesn't deserve one. <laughs> Oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've been under terrible pressure. Getting ready for the big show. I do many of the dogs, you know. Oh? Four champions in six years. Oh, that's wonderful. This year, put your money on Lord Swifty of Nottingham. An Irish setter. Marvelous coat. Perfect stance. Good breath. They judge on breath? No, but when you work as closely with them as I do, it uh, means a lot. <laughs> uh, oh, well, Mr. Rex, well, what, uh, what about our dog here? May I? Oh, yeah, please do. Exactly, did you have in mind? <laughs> well, we, we, wanna, we want you to make him beautiful. And your second choice? <laughs> well, beautiful is a lot to ask. Well, uh, can't you kind of pretty him up a little bit? Pretty? The best this beast will ever be is grotesque. <laughs> impossible. Impossible? Absolutely impossible. Well, if that's the way it is, honey, we'll try and do it ourselves, that's all. Or we go someplace else to Bow Wowery's down the street. Wait! I think I hit a nerve. Oh, horrible. Sit. Not you. <laughs> Once in every man's lifetime, there comes a supreme challenge. You mean you'll take a shot at Horrible? A shot would be the humane thing to do. <laughs> However... Has he been eating onions? That was two days ago. You know, I was thinking <laughs> that... <laughs> Yeah, I can see there. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Petrie. Yes? Will you allow me to do anything I want to do? Well, uh, yeah, within reason. Good. Then go. Give me three hours. Three hours? I could use a month. <laughs> oh, okay, three hours then. Gee, what do we do with all that time? May I suggest you go to a beauty parlor and you get a haircut and you come. Two 
$275. It is nicer than Laura's. Hi. Oh, hi, honey. Hey, you're here. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to kid you or anything, but it looks just the same. It is the same, dear. They couldn't take me. Everyone in town's getting their hair done for the dog show. Oh. You didn't get a haircut either. No, it was kitty day. <laughs> Honey, will you look at that? I can't believe it. Of course, he's, he's beautiful. He's just gorgeous. Oh, you're a genius. I'm will you so two hard. stop? <laughs> Do you for a moment think that Lord Swifty is your dog? That's, that's Lord Swifty? Nottingham? In person. This is an example of what I can do when I'm given something to work with. Like a dog. <laughs> Deliver. Listen, what, what, what about horrible? He's still horrible. I'll need at least another hour. Another hour? What are you going to do? Get a haircut. Well, what am I going to do? Go with him. And if you're a good girl, they'll give you a balloon. <laughs> well, I suppose he's still ugly. You know, I was thinking about that. Well, we'll just end up the owners of a, of a nice, ugly dog, that's all. <laughs> Looks aren't everything. Right. What about your nose? Yeah, it's not the greatest. I get along with it. No, Rom, I meant the sneezing. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just I'll be a little lonely, I guess. He can sleep outside and I'll take pills. Mr. Petri, your dog is ready. That's not our dog. Not unless they dyed his hair. Is, is, that the, is that the Swifty again? Oh, no, no, no. This is Lady Penelope. Lady Penelope? Lord Swifty's first wife. <laughs> I didn't know they broke up. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Petrie, may I present... Uh, what did you call him? Uh, well, horrible. Hardly appropriate. May I present the impossible? Honey, will you oh. look at that? Oh, dear, what? Hey, I can. Oh, Rex, you're a genius. You see, Rocky, other people think so, too. <laughs> Robbie looks like an expensive dog. Oh, he is. No kidding. Yes, this remodeling will cost you $75. <laughs> That's expensive. He's beautiful, but don't fool yourself. He's not a fine show dog. He's an ordinary poocock. A poocock? Yes. Half poodle. Half cocker spaniel. Poocock, you know, is uh, much nicer than mutt. Not necessarily. When we cross a schnauzer with a poodle, we call it... A schnoodle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trade joke. <laughs> well, Rex, I don't care how much he costs or I don't even care what he is. I'm happy with him. When we take him back to the pound now, somebody's bound to want him. The pound? Isn't he your dog? Well, no, actually, we adopted him for a little while. We do have to take him back. You're not taking my poocock to any pound. Well, I'd rather not. You know someone who wants him? Mr. and Mrs. Petrie, I want him. You do? I've become very fond of him. Well, Laura? Don't worry, I'll take very good care of him. You see, he and I, well, we're two of a kind. You're? We're not all purebreds, you know. Well, of course. I'm a freak. <laughs> huh? Part French, part Greek. Freak. Is that one of those uh, trade jokes? <laughs> well, you may visit us any time you wish. Of course, please call. Please call first. Boy, boy, it's tea time. <laughs> we did find him a happy home, though, you know it? It's kind of sad, though. Oh, yeah. But aren't you proud you live in a country where a dirty old poocock can end up living with a rich young freak. <laughs>